Welcome to practice question number one. We're going over dosage calculations. Here in this problem, it says that a doctor orders 10,000 micrograms of a drug for a patient. The drug is available at 4 milligrams per tablet. The question is, how many tablets should the nurse administer? So the basic idea I like to teach requires absolutely zero memorization. If you know how to convert units, then you never have to memorize any formula. This is what we call dimensional analysis. So let me show you what I mean by this. The first thing I like to do is start with the doctor's orders. So in this first set of black parentheses, I'm going to put the doctor's orders. And the basic idea is to take the doctor's orders and to convert them into your final calculation. And the way I like to do this is to use what I like to call converting tools. So these two parentheses are going to be our converting tools. And you can use as many converting tools as you need. Uh, this is a pretty easy problem, so that's why we only need to use two. So these two parentheses are going to be our converting tools. Okay, so now let's fill in all of our information into these parentheses. So if we start with the doctor's orders, um, it says in the question that the doctor's orders are 10,000 micrograms of a drug. So in the first parentheses, we have 10,000 micrograms. Okay, so now we need to take this 10,000 micrograms and convert it into our final answer. Uh, and we know that our final answer needs to be in tablets, because it says how many tablets should the nurse administer. So somehow we need to get rid of this micrograms and turn it into tablets. Um, so to do that, or to get rid of micrograms, and right now it's in the numerator, and we can put it in the denominator of our converting tool, and they're going to cancel each other out. And there's one rule that you have to remember about using converting tools. Uh, whatever you put in the denominator has to be equal to whatever you put in the numerator. So you can put anything that you want in the numerator, but it just has to be equal to the denominator. So since this problem is dealing in milligrams, I'm going to put milligrams in the numerator. And like I said before, they have to be equal. And we know that one milligram is equal to 1,000 micrograms. Okay? So 1,000 micrograms is equal to one milligram. And this makes sense because micrograms are much smaller than milligrams, so you need a thousand of them to be equal to one milligram. And notice how our micrograms cancel each other out. The micrograms in the denominator cancel out with the micrograms that are in the numerator. Uh, but we're still left over with milligrams, which is not okay because our final answer needs to be in tablets. So we need to cancel this milligram out, which is in the numerator. So to cancel it out, we need to put milligrams in the denominator. All right, and in the numerator, I'm going to put tablets because we need tablets in our final answer. And remember what I said before, when using these converting tools, um, your numerator has to be equal to your denominator. And it says that the drug is available at four milligrams per tablet. Or, or in other words, one tablet is equal to four milligrams, okay? So one tablet is equal to four milligrams. Remember, your numerator has to be equal to your denominator when using your converting tools. So now notice how our milligrams in the denominator cancel out with the milligrams in the numerator, and the only units we're left with is tablets, which is a very good sign because our final answer has to be in tablets. So to finish this problem, uh, the only thing we need to do is just multiply all of the numbers in the numerator and multiply all the numbers in the denominator. So if we start in the numerator, we have 10,000 times 1 times 1, which is equal to 10,000. And in the denominator, we have 1,000 times 4, which is equal to 4,000. And our units that we're left with is tablets. We have 10,000 divided by 4,000 tablets. And if we simplify this, uh, 10,000 divided by 4,000 is equal to 2.5. So our final answer is equal to two and a half tablets. This is our solution to question number one. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, once again, 
Uh, check out my dosage calculations practice quiz if you want any more practice uh, with dosage problems. Uh, they're much different, so um, they're good practice. And I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in my next video.